Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And today we're gonna learn about a new tool, all right? This is a tangential shoulder mill. I know, right? Say that five times, tangential, tangential. All right, so check this out, a tangential cutter. We're gonna talk about it and then we're going to test it, all right? But before we get started, I wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, just go ahead and hit like, put your comments down below. If you want us to teach you something, simply put it in the comments, you might see it in a future vlog. All right, before we get started, I just want to explain a couple things. Uh, this channel is about education, right? CNC education. So we got the tutorials, we're throwing out the crazy videos, and we're showing you how to actually cut titanium, giving you the speeds and the feeds. What I also want to do is I want to show you cool tools and teach you how to use them so that when you get an opportunity or the right application, you can have that knowledge in the back of your head. You can go to the video and you can see exactly Exactly how we used it, check our surface foot, our chip load, and basically have it in the bank. All right? So, this is a tool that I heard about from my friends at Canna Metal, so I asked them to actually get a first look at it. This tool doesn't actually come out until April, but I know that they got some stock. So, I just thought, you know what, let's go ahead and make a video that show the speeds, the feeds, the application, and then you guys get to see something new. This cutter right here was designed for cutting steel and cast iron, and it gets after it. Today I'm gonna to go a little bit beyond, and we're gonna actually cut some stainless. So I got a big old block of 316 stainless steel right here, so we're gonna rip some chips. As far as our application today, I'm actually gonna give you my speeds and feeds down below, and I'm gonna give you the range that you can use this cutter in stainless. All right, so on our first cut, we're simply just gonna face across the top of this 316 stainless, and uh, we're gonna do like a 1.2 step over. That's about two thirds. Our depth of cut is gonna be at 0.125, so an eighth of an inch. Let's check it out. All right, so let's talk about it, tangential. It is the way the insert is seated around the core of the body. So a lot of times you have the inserts flat like this. It cuts in this way and it's flat and it's thin, okay? This insert though is in this way, all right? Which is tangent to the circle. So automatically I see some things that make this truly unique and rigid. One is the screw is actually coming from the side straight in to the center. And because it's not flipped this way, it's actually flipped this way, and this is the cutting edge, look at how much carbide is behind it. If it was this way, then the carbide is thin but because it's shaped this way and all the forces coming into it, you have all of this carbide behind it, strengthening your insert. All right, so we just finished facing the top of it. Now we're actually gonna drop down on the sides. We're gonna drop down Z negative 1.5, and our step down is gonna be 300,000. So it's gonna go 300, 600, 900, 1.2, and then Z negative 1.5, walking around. Our radio engagement will be a hundred thousand. Oh, let's check this out.
Another cool thing about this cutter is it's part of the Mill 4 platform from Canametal. So they're calling it the Mill 412 KT. So let me break that down for people that don't know. The Mill 4 platform is one of the greatest platforms in machining, period, right? These are shoulder mills. They're at a perfect 90, so you can actually step down and get that nice finish. Also, the Mill 4 means there are four cutting surfaces on each insert. The digits after the Mill 4 simply mean the depth of cut in millimeters, all right? So since this is the Mill 412, that simply means that when looking at the axial depth of cut, this guy can actually drop down 12 millimeters, all right? So the Mill 411 could go 11 millimeters and the Mill 415 could go 15 millimeters in Z. And then the KT at the end simply means Kenametal Tangential. All right, so we have surfaced it, we have profiled it, the sides look beautiful. So now I'm gonna do a third cut. I'm actually gonna drop down 200 thousandths in Z. Radio engagement will be a half an inch, and we'll just use the same speeds and feeds. All right, so I have a few different inserts right here. This gray one right here is the KCPM40. It is a great insert, and it's a beast when it comes to cutting steel and stainless. On the other side, I got these gold inserts right here, and this is a KCSM40, and this one's for stainless and titanium. So we're actually gonna use the KCSM40 now, because I'm gonna cut this stainless right here. All right, and on order, I have some 4140 steel coming in, and when that comes in, I'll do another video getting after that steel, and then we'll use these inserts. All right, since I'm just doing some tests, I asked Kenna Metal for a two inch diameter. This tool can actually be purchased all the way up to an eight inch diameter, which is a beast, right? If you get a shell mill or a shoulder mill, you gotta make sure that you actually read the cutter body. Kinemoto does a good job in actually giving you some critical information. One, it's telling you not to go over 25,000 RPMs, and since it's steel, that's not even an issue, all right? Another thing is when you're actually tightening the screws, you need to be very specific, all right? So Kinemoto calls it out at four Newton meters, which is the equivalent to 35 inch pounds, okay? I actually have my torque wrench right here, and it's set with Newton meters, and I'm set to four, which is perfect to the spec called out on the tool. This is actually a, an absolutely beautiful tool. I love that right there, it says made in the USA. Let me look at the inserts too. Made in the USA, love it, love it. All right, so for our fourth and final cut, we're gonna go up to 575 surface foot. Our chip load was at six thousandths. We're gonna go up to 10 thousandths, which is gonna increase our RPMs to just below 1100. It's gonna give us a feed rate of 54 inches per minute, all right? I'm gonna take 100 thousandths per pass, and then I'm gonna do a radial engagement of 1.2, all right? Also, another thing that I'll remind you about is that this is a mil 412, so it's 12 millimeters, as far as how deep it can cut. So if you have a machine that can actually push this tool, sky is the limit on this thing. All right, there you go, tangential milling. It makes sense, right? Instead of the insert being this way and thin, the insert's this way, and you got a lot of carbide behind it, and it gets after it. So tomorrow, 
we're gonna cut some 4140, we're gonna find that sweet spot, we're gonna like get after it, and I'll make another video to show you that application, and then you'll see a lot more videos with just crazy tools where we're showing you exactly how to use them so you can solve the right problem, so you can make money, make money for your shop. And that is it, I'm out. I will see you on the next vlog. Boom.